Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I am super excited for today's video because I am joined here with my stylist, Erica. Um, we are going to be showing you guys how she styles my hair with the Dyson straightener, which is super original because most of the time I think everyone kind of thinks, oh, like when you curl your hair, you use a curling iron, but you can achieve something super, super effortless, very, very wavy, and just like, I don't know, I think I would describe it as like, cool girl yeah sweet yeah. chic yeah with um, a straightener so we're gonna show you guys exactly how we did that and yeah let's go ahead and get started let's go so we will be using the Dyson Corral flat iron to do most of the styling the hair is already prepped with Olaplex number six and seven we do have tons of heat protection on here because this iron will be at about 400 plus degrees. We want to make sure that her previously lightened hair doesn't get damaged. Now with the style, we're going to be taking more vertical sections and we're going to be working and taking that into two horizontal subsections. So anytime I'm curling the hair, I'll be taking vertical and then continuing the horizontal subsections throughout the entire head of hair. What we'll be doing is curling everything away from the face right to behind the ear and then once we get behind the ear we're going to alternate forward and backward now when you do everything in a way of going one direction it just looks too polished it looks too set and it's not like for every day and then so in the front do you like curl away from the hair or away from the face because like i have a large face so it's like helping with the framing i guess i always like to curl away from the face because when you take photos you don't want to see the little bits on the end flipped forward. Ooh, okay. So when you get that angle, you know, if you're turned to the side or you're looking straight or you're looking, you know, to the other side, you want to make sure that all the little bits on the ends are going backwards. Mm -hmm. And then everything kind of has more of that lived in, curled, mixed up pattern in the back. So that's why I always suggest going away from the face. Okay. And for products, we're going to be using the I Want Body Texture Spray. This is from Eleven Australia. This product is three in one. So we have a hairspray, we have a texture spray, which is more of like a dry powder, and then a sea salt spray. So lots of texture, lots of hold. Basically, this is one and done. Once we're done curling, her hair is a perfect foundation. All we're going to need is some serum. So again, what I'll be doing is taking a vertical section, dividing it in two subsections horizontally. Now, you want to make sure to shake up this product because it does separate. And I'm going to hold it about 10 inches away and just lightly mist the section. Now it's really important when you do use product that you're not going too close and spraying it, especially when it's something that's a little more wet. So you want to make sure that it's just a light mist and it's almost just as if it is a light veil over the hair. And once you put in the flat iron, you want to always start maybe mid cheekbone. So I'm not going to be looking to create a wave right at the base. I want to almost start it in the cheekbone area and slightly give it a bend. So we're going to pull it forward. And then right when you've created a nice little slight C-section bend, I'm going to drop the flat iron and continue doing that all the way down. So again, I did another little small c-section and once I get to the end I'm not going to curl it again because that'll just create a little more of a set wave I'm going to just leave these at ends out and just pull this flat iron straight down so what I've created is a slight just lived in beachy wave and we'll create continue that on the top of the section again take up the product light mist I'm doing about three points, so top, mid, and end. And I'm not going to put the flat iron in too tight or too close to the head or the beginning of the um, scalp. I'm going to start more mid cheekbone, twist it forward. And once I get a nice little C shaped section, I'm going to pull it down. And again, just smoothing out those ends just to create a slight bend. So now I'm doing another section. So 
This one again, it's still working in front of the ear, so everything is going to be going away from the face. Three pumps, 10 inches away, starting to flat iron in about mid cheekbone, twisting it, pulling it forward. Once I get that nice little C section bend, I'm going to drop the flat iron, do it again, and then just flat iron the end. I feel like as I'm like watching, I'm like, like my eyes are like over here. <laughs> I'm like trying to see what's going on. <laughs> and when you put in the flat iron, you want to make sure that you're not clamping it too tight because when you put it in and you start mid cheekbone, you don't want to create a crease in the hair. If, so I'm lightly clamping the flat iron once I initially put it into the hair. And then I'm just dragging it forward dropping the flat iron again and just pulling it straight down. Do you feel like with the Dyson you get like more control over like how much you clamp it down? Yeah, there's yeah. actually um, a little bit of resistance from it getting too tight and oh, creating that, nice. that crease that you would get with like a traditional flat iron. Mm. So now that I'm working behind the ear, I will be doing this forward. So the curl We'll now go in this direction, again, starting mid cheekbone. That's where it, when you hit the cheekbone, that's like your indicator to turn your flat iron. Then you want to drop the flat iron, pull it down just a little bit, and then again, twist it forward, smooth out the end. At any point, once you break up this curl and this texture looks a little too straight in some areas, you can always go back. It's not one and done. So this is just like a nice base of creating that lived in look. But you know, we might go over a few pieces after just to add in a little bit more wave if it does look a little too straight in some areas. And if your section gets a little bunched up together, always have a comb or a brush on the side you always just want to make sure that the section is nice and clean because um, when you're using a hot tool, it might not smooth out that little area that's bunched up and that will just change the whole end result. So always make sure that you're working with a nice smooth section. So for everyone watching too, um, I guess, like, how would you describe, like, if, I, like, if someone were to see, like, this hair and then mm -hmm. they wanted to go into, like, another stylist, obviously, if you're in the Bay Area, you should come see Erica. But in case you're not, in case you're not, uh, what would you say, like, my hair is, like, kind of described as? Because, like, I feel like I do have really thick hair, but I feel like you've, like, we've managed to, like, thin it out so it, like, lays really nicely, even when it's straight. Absolutely. And that's ultimately... When you go into the salon, you want to have them really focus on the overall look. And the look of your hair is long layers. Mm -hmm. So long layers is a very classic shape. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference between what we do on your hair and a long layer haircut is I use a razor, mm -hmm. which okay. can take out the weight of the hair and create soft movement on the ends. Okay. So especially if you have really straight hair, I want to put some just movement already mm -hmm. on the ends before we even go in and texturize it out once we're done. Because that will give you versatility where you won't really have to worry about in straight hair having a blunt line and it not air drying nicely. Mm -hmm. So I would always suggest a razor haircut if you have very thick straight hair to create movement on the ends and also to add some texture even before the um, end of the haircut. Okay. So the next thing that you want to ask for, again, classic long layered haircut, is you want to talk about the density of your hair. So if you have very thick hair and that's an Hello. issue, <laughs> yes, you want to make sure that the stylist knows that that density is an issue. Because sometimes we have clients that have really thick hair. They love it. Density is not an issue. They want to keep it. But then there's some of us that have thick hair and we need to get rid of that. 
So yeah. what you want to make sure is once the haircut is blow dried out, that the stylist is detailing that haircut because a long layer haircut is great, but it's the detail work once the haircut is blow dried out. Mm -hmm. So how they can do that is by taking out weight or taking out the bulk. Um, and you can be very specific if you have a stylist who's not quite sure where to take out the weight or where to take out a bulk, just run your fingers through your hair and kind of just show them. You know, I feel it's really heavy maybe on the ends or it's really heavy still in the back. And don't be afraid to have that conversation with your stylist because any stylist who is open to listening to what their client um, you know, needs for their haircut will be more than willing to address what it is that's happening into the hair. So I would say your haircut is long layered, razor, haircut, lots of texture and lots of removal of the weight. Okay. So that again, it's just going to create some more lived in piecier layered pieces once we finish curling and also when you air dry it. That makes sense. I feel like it's really funny because like I listen to you like describe all of this and I feel like every we've like been working together now for oh my God, like how many years has it been? It's been a really long time. It's been since your hair was all your natural color. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> my hair was like all my hair was completely black and like yes. super super long. But yeah, so like I feel like it's so entertaining now because as I guess as, as you get to know your stylist too, right? Like they kind of can guess like exactly what you want. And so I feel like I like come in and I sit down and I'm like, okay, do your thing. <laughs> like don't even say anything anymore about like what I'm looking for. Absolutely, and that's why it's important to just have an honest conversation with your stylist when you guys first meet and you're getting to she's getting to know she he yeah they <laughs> are getting to know your hair and it just makes everyone more comfortable the stylist yeah. is like okay i know that she doesn't mind me taking weight out she wants to see more movement mm -hmm. and then you start to build that relationship so then when you come back it's just a nice Okay, yeah, do the haircut. They know what you like. They're feeling confident in giving that to you. Yeah. So just, yeah, I think us having an open conversation of what you want, what you don't want has given us that relationship where you can come in now and I just go, okay. Yeah. I kind of know sure. your wants and needs for your hair. Yeah. Okay, so now as you can see, we have a nice set of a lived-in wave using the Dyson flat iron. I will be breaking this up with a shine serum. The reason why I like to use a shine serum once I'm finished using a very heavy texturizing spray is because the texture is already in the hair, it's roughed up. We don't want to create that matte finish because it's very matte. We want to add a little shine, add a little gloss, and it also will just polish off these little fuzzy bits that are straighter. So two pumps of the anti frizz serum, and this is the biggest question I get is how to apply this serum into the hair. So you don't want to start raking the product in. You want to take it in just one big section and twist it into the hair. So we're just pulling it nice and straight and just twisting it forward and I'm twisting it backwards and I'm really just trying to smooth the cuticle out. So when you go in the hair and you take it and you rake it through, that might create more fuzz and more frizz. So take the serum and then just twist everything together. Now you can see there's a lot of product that went into the midge and the end. I'm just going to run a little bit of that in the root area. Again, I'm using the flat of my hand just to rub it in and polish it through the hair. Now, once it's all in, I can start using my fingers. And you want to do this from underneath and not on top. Again, on top is going to create fuzz, and it's just not going to be the best for frizzy hair texture, for really thick hair texture. You just want to go in underneath and almost pull those strands of hair down. So I've been doing this last step wrong for my whole <laughs> life. <laughs> If it, works, it's learned. if it works for you, continue doing it. If not, here's another tip. <laughs> and I think the products that we're using too are, so they're from Eleven Australia, which is obviously an Australian brand. It's in the name. 
Um, but if you are interested in purchasing them, definitely come check out um, Erica's Instagram page, which I will link below, um, and reach out to her for those products, because I would say, for the most part, I feel like you can't really just get these products anywhere, but they definitely do sell it in the salon. Yeah. And my favorite part is like, that one smells like, it's like watermelons? Yes. Right? Yeah. The entire Everything line. smells so good. They have like some that smell like coconut too. Yes. So a lot of times what happens is the hairline might have like a little bit of fuzzies or flyaways. So I'll be using the medium hold styling cream, just a teeny bit, maybe like a pea size. And, and just emulsify that right into your fingertips. And use it right in like the part area and around the bangs where you would normally get those little fuzzy pieces. I definitely have the hair fuzzies, the baby hairs. Yeah. <laughs> those tend to go away like second, third day, but when you have freshly washed clean hair, they're alive and well. They're happy hairs. <laughs> yeah. They're happy and they want to come out and play, so let's just put them away. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> so the medium styling, the medium hold styling cream, it's not um, a gel, it's not a paste, it is just a light cream to just hold these pieces down. So don't worry, after you're still going to be able to run your fingers through your hair, you're not going to have just a really heavy, hard um, product right in that bang area. No helmet hair here. <laughs> no, you want to keep it movable. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful for everyone to see exactly how to create yes. um, really, really loose waves with a straightener. And of course, thank you so much, Erica, for you. showing everyone how to do that. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, obviously, again, please feel free to either message me or Erica on Instagram. We're happy to chat with you. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much closes up this video. I obviously love my hair. Every time she finishes it, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to hit like and then also subscribe to our channel for more content. I'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to be really excited to look back on the footage and be like, where was Jeanette's eyes? Because I feel like I'm like, I don't know what to look at. Yeah. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs>